Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday night ASEA group call. We are excited to have you here. We've got some wonderful news and sharing this evening and some very special guests with us this evening. So we're going to be speaking about the ethos of our company. That's the culture. And so this evening, as always, we invite you to, to uh, believe. So we come together and we believe that humanity still has hope that there are good people out there and there's loving and caring people that genuinely care for one another. And that's who we invite into our group so we can share the ASEA message with them. And then the next step that we take is that we uh, belong. We come together as a community as this evening and we share that belief and we help the group belong and share ideas in growing our business and helping people make healthy choices, educate them, and then we become and we become our greatest potential. And as a very wise person once says, change is the true indicator of learning. So we not only gather the information, but we apply it. Tony Robbins is famous for saying, knowledge is power. Well, that's true, but only when applied. So we come together, share knowledge, and then we go out into the world, share the knowledge and help people apply it. So to start off this evening, I'd like to introduce Ruth. She is going to uh, introduce, introduce us to a video that we're going to watch that's going to speak more about the ASEA company and what this meeting is all about. So without further ado, Ruth. You can unmute yourself, Ruth. Hi, I'm Ruth Cray, and I would like to welcome you to watch this video with us. Redox chemistry is a critical factor in allowing nutrients to get into a cell. When you provide your body with a ready source of micronutrients, like what you find in a Cia via, plus the redox signaling molecules in a Cia redox, you create an environment where the most potent bioavailable nutrients can truly get down to the cellular level and nourish you. As we watch this video, please note down any questions that may come up for you. We all have a purpose, a reason to take care of our health so that we can thrive. For some, it might be about spending time with the people we love. For others, it might be about reaching a new personal best. And for some, a purpose is about staying as young and as vibrant as long as possible. In our modern world, millions of people are dealing with health conditions and it can be really tough to know what to do to ensure that we stay healthy and strong. Long-term health is dependent on proper nutrition, but even the best diet may not be giving your body everything it needs to stay healthy. Supplements are a great way to fill in the gaps to ensure your body's getting everything it needs. A daily health supplement like those Acia Via offers is a good start down the pathway for better overall wellness. Acia Via, in my opinion, stands above any nutritional supplements that I know of. The research shows that we need more micronutrients than are present in most of our food sources. So even when we do organic and we do real food, not the fake food that's in boxes and cans, but real food has a lot less nutrients than they had 30, 50 years ago. The Acia Via line are the most brilliantly constructed, conscious nutrient formulas I've ever used in 33 years in practice. When your diet just isn't cutting it, Via Source can help fill in those nutrient gaps. Via Source is a whole food micronutrient complex that's different than other supplements because it contains whole food nutrition to help your body thrive. With Via Life Max, you have an active lifestyle and vitality formula that helps keep you strong as you age, and it has antioxidants. Antioxidants are important to keep your cells healthy and to prevent them from damage. Via Biome is an expertly formulated probiotic. It's made up of 16 different strains of probiotics and prebiotics, which makes it a vital aid to nourishing your gut health. 
gut health is so important because it's really the hub of your body. It's important for your immune system, it's important for brain health, as well as your digestive system. Boosting your omega-3 fatty acids as part of a proactive plan can help reduce your risk of heart disease and high blood pressure. Via Omega can help keep those risk factors in check. You know, the way I think about the Via line is not unlike a piano. I mean, I can play an individual key on an 88 key piano on any day, but it's chords, it's the combination of different things and supplements that actually make the sound come out and resonate. It creates the melody. I think we're very similar. Our body's ability to interpret what we introduce into it, whether that be good or bad, is way more delicate and way more sophisticated than I think we give credit for. And so the idea of introducing the right combinations of the right nutrients and nutrition married with a signaling uplift by virtue of our Acea uh, Redox supplement, it's the coupling of those things that I think starts to play chords in the body that respond very differently to the needs of each person. Our goal as an organization was to provide the highest quality nutritional products to the marketplace, but give consumers a choice to choose products that are designed specifically to help address health at the cellular level. If you're fortunate enough to have good health now in your life, do yourself a favor and talk to somebody who doesn't have good health. And that will give you an appreciation and hopefully motivation for taking, your, taking care of yourself today. Acia Via is what its name suggests, the pathway that may help support complete long-term wellness. Take control of your health and live your purpose. Now it's my pleasure to get to welcome Peg Coates. We're very excited to get to have her here as our guest speaker. She's got quite an extensive bio, and this is actually pretty scaled down. But she's got vast experience in teaching, and she's been nominated for many different awards and recognized among the who's who among teachers twice. She's also done a lot of coaching for years and was the president of the Colorado Coaches of Women's Sports and had trained the, trained the trainer person for the Department of Education Southwest region specializing in drug and alcohol prevention and also has worked as an addictions counselor and has a master's in criminal justice. Currently, Peg's a certified life coach and a licensed spiritual practitioner. She joined ASEA before the formal launch back in July of 2010. And she passionately loves the company, the leadership, the community, and the products. And I hear that the ethos was the reason that she tried the products. And so help me in welcoming Peg Coates. Well, good evening, everybody. It's such an honor to be here. Um, I do love passionately every part of this company. Um, you know, my mission in life is really to help people get over, under, around, or through anything, anything that keeps them from being who they're here to be, to be the best person, the best version of themselves. And that really does fit with the ethos of this company. It fits with uh, what I think most people want to want to do. They want to have a positive life. They want to have a positive impact with people. Um, when I ran into this company, uh, I got a phone call from a good friend. At that time, I wasn't interested in, a, in any kind of a business at all, but the doctors had said to me, you know, Peg, <clears throat> you have maybe six months to a year before you're crippled and you're gonna have to be in an electric chair, uh, you know, not electric chair, electric cart, let's put it that way. Um, so how would you have liked that? that you're gonna be crippled. I didn't like it too very much. Matter of fact, I'm a lifelong athlete. Uh, it's an honor to be on here with Marsha and Jerry White uh, because you talk about lifelong athletes, they certainly are. My last sport actually was a tri rise triathlon. And that's when I first had a doctor say to me, 
you know, Peg, it'd be good for you. I want to know, when can I go back and train? And the doctor said, well, you know, triathlon would be good for you. Um, definitely, it would help your muscles hold your joints together. However, you'll go crippled much faster. Um, having been a lifelong athlete, I played semi-professional softball. I played rugby. Uh, that was interesting. I coached volleyball, as you heard. And so my body has taken a bit of a hit, so to speak. I'm a project. When I met this technology, I was doing four to eight pain pills a day. I was doing prescribed medication. I was doing 16 joint supplements. I was using magnetic technology to not hurt. And so when I tried this, um, it took me about two and a half months to realize I had not renewed my prescription for my pain meds. Um, if you've ever been on a cruise, you guys, you know that you have to be dedicated just to get to dinner, right? It's a long walk generally. And I had a cruise scheduled two and a half months after I started using the product. And I got on that cruise and um, I just kind of forgot, you know, who I was. I forgot what was going on. I forgot my age. <laughs> and I would dance until two in the morning. You know, I went on excursions. I got myself to the dining hall. Uh, I snorkeled. Uh, and I realized when I got home, I had done one pain pill that entire trip. And it was because of the redox, the liquid, that I was able to do that. And I realized this was part of what I wanted to share. I wanted to share it, too, because of the ethos. And um, I don't know how much time I have. Um, Gloria, how much time do I have here? Oh, we'd love for you to take 15 minutes or around that. Okay. Okay, great. If I And I said to Jerry earlier, I didn't want to share a screen, but I'm going to ask if that's possible now. I'll wait. In process, one moment. In, okay, very good. So the ethos really is the heart and soul of this company. Um, the person that called me to introduce me to this basically had said, um, let's see here. They basically said to me, you know, Peg, you're going to love this company because of the heart and culture of it. And I just want to show you that there are several elements to this. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I want you to understand the heart of this company and the culture that it's, that is at the core of it. Because to me, it's an amazing uh, spirit-based loving company. So let's take a look at this concept of E2PC, which basically is talking about managing the motives that we have for doing our lives and, and perhaps our businesses. And here's, here what, here's what the P stands for. The P stands for principles. And principles really are about concentrated truths like integrity and civility. I don't know what you think about what's happening in the world today, but I think we could use more integrity and civility in it. It has to do with E2 e is ego and economics. So you have the E2, which is ego and economics. Then you have principles. And then the C stands for your capacity, the potential that you have and the ability that you have. And the number one rule in this company is always to keep the ego and economics under the principles. When I heard that, I thought, you know what? I can hitch my wagon to this if that's real. Because how many corporations do you know that say, let's keep our ego under the desire to maybe spin something in order to get better income? And this company does not do that. I've watched it for 12 years and I've watched them make these decisions based on keeping principles and purpose and people over ego and economics. So here's, here's the success formula. If you look at E, which is ego and ec economics, and um, if you give someone a score out of 10 and they score five, so they, they care about making money, they care about providing for their families, 
And then they're at about an eight in terms of their integrity. Still, you have the ego and economics below. Do you see that? So this is um, a, a fairly good, a fairly good score. But what would happen, do you think, if if the ego and economics were eight, and the principles and and purpose was a two? That wouldn't be very good person, right, to be working. I would not want to work with them because that would mean that they're going to spin. They may not tell the truth. They're, they are more interested in greed and getting ahead than they are saying the truth. So managing your motives is you, you never let your ego and motivations get greater than your commitment to living in alignment with true principles. And you work at building your capacity. You know, we're valued in life mainly by the degree that you make yourself valuable for people. And that can happen by working on yourself, but also providing service and value. You heard at the beginning of this call about believe, belong, become. And this is kind of the mantra that we work on in this company, believing, belonging, and becoming. Because when you believe in each other, you actually start to feel like you belong to each other. You're committed to each other. You're committed to each other's success. And when you belong to each other, you serve one another. Mother Teresa once said, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we actually belong to each other. Think of that. If we have no peace, we've forgotten. You know, I've heard it say that Separation is what causes all illness, feeling separate, feeling alone, feeling like we don't belong. So the outcome when we're talking about our company, our culture, and what we're up to, the outcome is not income. The outcome is to become. The highest reward in a person's toil is not what we get for it, but what we become as it. If you take a look, think of this little caterpillar and what has to happen for them to spread into these beautiful butterflies. So the summary is to believe in yourself first and foremost, not to waste resources, but the, the most uh, wasted resource in the world really is our human resource. Uh, so it's really important to disregard or discard the negative ba baggage that we have from the past. And start to believe in yourself. Set your heart and mind to that. To believe in the product, the opportunity that is available here, the industry that we represent, and ASEA, our company. Belonging to someone and something is one of our most fundamental human needs. We need to belong to each other and take care of each other. So again, the outcome is not income. It's overcome and become. Then income. Our people are our products, not so much our technology. Ubuntu is a concept I'm not sure you've heard of before, um, but it's really a beautiful concept. And perhaps the, the motto that goes with Ubuntu is I am because we are. Now, there's an interesting story that goes with this. You can see here that Desmond Tutu talked about this when he said the very essence of human beings is we, when we say so-and-so has Ubuntu, that's a beautiful thing to say because that means that they are generous, hospitable, friendly, caring, and compassionate. When you share what you have, it's to say my humanity is caught up and is ex extra, <laughs> gosh, Jerry, help me with the word, will you? Extricably bound up in ours. We belong in a bundle of life. A person is a person through other persons. Now take a look at this picture. Because um, it's, it is said, this is an African concept, Ubuntu. It is said that a psychologist was in a um, village. Some of you may have heard this story. And he got all the boys in the village lined up. And down the road, they put a big basket of fruit. He said to the boys, when I say go, run down there and the first person that gets to that big basket of fruit will get the entire basket. All of that will go to you. Now, when he said go, the boys grabbed hands and walked 
to the basket of fruit. The psychologist was really puzzled. And he went down and he said, boys, did you not understand what I said? I said, it, whoever gets here first gets everything. And the boys looked puzzled. And he said, why didn't you go for it? And he, they said, because somebody in our group would have to do without. And I don't want to hurt my brother. We have enough that we can share. So when you think about this concept, we all belong to the greater whole. If we are diminished or humiliate one another, we are basically hurting and diminishing the other. So we need to keep that in mind with the way that we treat one another. And that's a core issue in this company. I am because we are. No one exists in isolation. We're all interconnected. What we do affects the whole world and none of us reaches any heights without supporting others and helping others. So you can see that this company has some really golden rule, basic bottom line foundational beliefs and core concepts, which together we call the ethos. And I haven't even hit on all the others. There are some beautiful uh, little videos you can watch to cover some of these others. But I am so in love with this company. I'm in love with the ethos. I'm in love with the technology. It's given me my life. Uh, I can live fully. I'm surrounded by wonderful, positive people like the people on this call and honored to be with you tonight. Um, in the video, you saw that um, it's really important for people to do what we love for people to have their highest and best performance and for people to feel healthy. Now, if I, I love to ask people, what are the three things you value you the most in your life? And I want you to think about that for a minute. What are three things you value the most? What would be the number one thing, the number two and the number three things? I can usually tell when I talk to somebody about that, that um, if health is number one, that means they've had some health issues. They know what it's like to lose health. Our founder, Virtus Norton, says we are valued in life largely to the degree that we make ourselves valuable. And you tell me, is there any better way to provide value to people than to give them an answer to their living a healthy, rich, rewarding life? where we give them an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives, where we can go out and be the best that we can be by valuing others and by offering them health, possibly financial support as well. So that's the completion of my share. Um, I hope it's been valuable to you. And I'm going to, I believe, hand it over to you, Sir Jerry. <laughs> Very good. And uh, what oh, it, it's so good to return to those values, Peg. Um, you are a gem, and uh, we're so glad to have you be a part of that. We need to add these values much more often in in what we do. Well, my name is Jerry White, and uh, I've been involved with this for about nine and a half years. It has changed everything about how I think and work and act as a physical therapist, as a coach. Um, as an athlete, but more importantly, as a human being, this has been the most fulfilling thing that we've ever done. For many of us, we get ourselves into a position where um, we haven't gotten, I was short on time uh, because I was doing things that I thought were meaningful working in a, a, I established a laboratory for looking at movement patterns and how we could do surgical procedures on little kids to help those movement patterns. And I was teaching um, in, in, in the medical community. I was also working in my laboratory, uh, doing predictive surgeries and, and, and working with kids and, and uh, doing physical therapy. And all of those things unfortunately, were to the detriment of the time that I got to spend with the people most important in my life, my family. And each of you would 
come to this thing called a SIA with uh, more questions and information uh, it, it needed. But uh, for this, it's just usually very eye opening. Uh, we had all of these people as guests previously talking about their individual experiences and, and unbelievable. Let me just share real quickly how we get this change in the physical part of our lives and then wrap it up with how we put together um, teams of people to accomplish much more in this world than we could ever do by ourselves. First, the discovery that the cells in your body have a communication system we never knew how to access before. And um, around the turn of the 20th century, isn't it funny we have to say the turn of the 20th century? We used to say the turn of the century, we meant the turn of the But uh, as <laughs> at the turn of the 21st century, I guess, uh, there was a discovery that cells have the ability to talk to each other beyond what we thought was possible. Through a series of, in, of uh, molecules, we call them redox signaling molecules, has exploded into a giant um industry uh but mostly interestingly it's a it's a a theoretical industry because no one was able to really isolate the letters of the alphabet the the suppliers of the energy for this particular concept but it started answering all the questions that we we never could answer in biology until now now we have a technology that allows the cells to take in these specific reducer oxidizer pairs and your system can your cells can individually use them to turn on the genetic components that can observe the world and adapt to the world in fact as it does that you begin to start to turn back to traits and capabilities you had when you were very young, even back into the embryo. Now imagine what that can portend too. Your body is made of completely of cells and each one of those cells, if it has the ability to do things that it did when you were younger, I bet you could look around your neighborhood and find some people that would say, you know what? I could do more when I was younger. I actually looked better, smelled better, didn't creak so much, accomplished more and, and, and had a more, a, a more hopeful countenance. So all these things we seem to see as we add a simple liquid that you can consume, you can drink it, you can spray it on, you put it in your eyes. It's called a SIA redox signaling supplement. And uh, you can access that through these people. There's also a gel that we apply topically. Astounding results in how people move, perceive, balance, all kinds of great things. What if you could get back better memory? Or in the case of Rhoda over here, to be able to go from a couple of years without even being able to use her legs to now, like she said today, she was astounding to her physical therapist. Um, and, and, the, and the stories that we can tell. So that's how it all started was this series of technologies. Now that opened up a window that said, if we could put the languaging back in, we could, we could sample our environment more quickly and the cells could go back to doing, going, hey, we used to do it this way. And, then, and when all the cells to work together and individually, and they start doing what they used to do, whoa. But, but what they will do is they'll start looking around for, okay, well, it's been a while, but I need these kinds of components and spare parts. And as we opened up today, we were talking about what's called a sea via. These are the nutrition pieces that we've discovered by searching. What would cells look for if they finally came awake again? And that's that fascinating collection. That's the second portion of what the product side of what we do. The third is a fascinating look at how skin operates. And when you're a little baby, most people don't realize it, but you can actually close a cut with no scar in two days. And that's uh, at the age of two. But as we move farther and farther past birth, where just before you were born, you could literally make 
these body parts and tissues and, and organs from a single cell in less than nine months. And then when you're born, you, 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 you can fix things, but you can't make new ones. Isn't that interesting? And yet the DNA didn't change. So what if we could go back to that? Well, all of a sudden the cells would say, hey, uh, let's get our pieces together within the cell and kind of come up with some strategies and say, anybody realize we were this messed up? And that, that particular cell will start to do what it needs to to go back to what it used to be. And if all the cells in a certain environment began to do that, they might supply raw materials that they haven't done for a long time. They might supply assistance in a different way or repair much more quickly before it gets overwhelmed. So in that case, it doesn't just start looking for nutritive pieces. It starts to change the skin completely and altogether, where it begins to start to actually make new skin faster. Because when you're a little baby, you make brand new skin. Every single cell is replaced in 14 days. By the time you're 20 years old, it's 28 days. And by the time you're in your 70s and 80s, it can be over 115 days. And the cells are so worn out by then, they're hanging bags, they can't get their arms over their head. We're asking them to do various stuff and they, they run out to put out the fire and it's like they're four days later with an empty bucket. And so your body can become overwhelmed and muscularly and in, in, in the cardiovascular system and all the different systems because it can't respond quickly enough. And then it doesn't even get over that one before it gets overwhelmed with the next one, which over, and that's called aging. So what if, what if these could all start to work again? It would literally be anti-aging. You're going to see some remarkable things as you come across that. And in this anti-aging, we have a four-step, well, it's a five-step skin system, and it'll show you right away. Um, in the net-net, you know, that's good. We've got other places where you can take a look at that and, and some of the remarkable changes in people's skin. But the one that I always use is just, uh, it, 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 nothing more needs to be said because I used to be ugly. Um, and so if if that's your goal in life, maybe maybe you could work in that. Uh, I know that for some of us, we've gone through um, kind of, we know somebody's gone through age discrimination, but what if they will all strike back in? It would be like the end of Pretty Woman when she goes, you know, you people in this store used to make fun of me because I looked like I didn't have any money and she just got married to a billionaire. And then she goes, you're going to rue the day. And she walks out the store and I said, just watch this. Well, all of those who maybe people downplayed their capabilities because they were maybe looking too old. Well, now you start looking strapping and younger and go back in and go, what do you think now? And then there's another piece where we use it for athletics. It's, it's absolutely astounding when the body can adapt and correct and build more quickly. Um, again, consuming it, drake it, uh, take the material. Now there's a new twist on it. And we said, okay, now that the cells are looking around and working together better, let's take some of these fascinating and kind of amazing discoveries that different nutrients have, you supply back to the body, and they help characteristics that we start to see sliding away. So this now magnificently running engine is put back in place and we can start adding some of the things that are missing in our diet and our lifestyle. And so we came up with what we call um, performance technology. And these are just little simple packets where you open it, pour it into some water, shake it up. And we're in three different categories, mind, mood, and energy in ways that we've never seen before. So with those things, you're gonna see radical changes. Why would you wanna see radical changes? Because for most of us, those annoying things that keep us from doing what we're meant to do, what would happen if they started to improve and go away? Well, we would look around and we'd say, how can we pass this on to others? 
So we chose this ethos. Peg was so magnificent in helping us to see of gathering together to make a difference. Living every day because we're getting done with ourselves so that we can work together and make a much bigger difference together. So here's, here's the options that we supply. The first one is some people would say, man, that was great information. Thanks. I'm going to keep it in mind as I go through my life. And some would apply that to their own health or the ones that they love. Some would apply that technology or their concepts to animals because it's actually more effective on animals than it is on people. Number three would be those who are really trying to improve on their, um, their age function to be just like vibrant, out of control, and ridiculous when it comes to... Imagine going to your 50th high school um, reunion and you're, and you're now doing things that your classmates didn't even do when they were in high school, just because. And, and inspiring them to become more than they already are. Or the whole thing about having focus and compassion and energy and hope. Wow. So with all that, we'd say, let's, it's, a gift is not a gift unless you can give it away. So we've all been given this gift. So the next one says, some people might want to uh, involve this by getting the products and then the, the technologies and moving toward a better space for themselves or others. The third would be somebody who says, this looks like fun. I want, I want to earn and learn and, and uh, really get to a point where I become better. That improvement, believe, belong, become. So we, we, we say that you can enroll role as an associate with us and go through a lot of the educational pieces and work together. I can't believe the quality that's coming out of this group right here. And we only started this group about six months ago. And, and, and the difference you can make when you work together with other people. And through that, the distribution picks up and we get paid a piece of the distribution, each one of us individually based on the kind of work that we do. But imagine what a family could do with a few hundred extra dollars a month or even more. And, and when that happens, then we can turn around and say, I'm gonna spend more of my day lifting people up. And as you lift people up and teach them to do the same, it starts to spread out. And the fourth category would be a person who says, you know, I'd like to actually start the process of developing an, a sort of a mirror in income to what I'm currently already making. Imagine what that would be like. The kinds of things that you could undo if you were making as much in your endeavors on a, what we call a, an enterprise on your own, and you didn't give up what you were doing before, you'd start catching up, start getting ahead, start staying ahead of uh, inflation. It's a big deal. And finally, there's a group of people that really see the biggest needs for all of this. It is that human connection. It is that being physically capable, being mentally alert, aware, adaptive, where your whole body and system can be on. You know what's funny about that? The more you use it, right, coach? The better you get. No matter where you start, th those signals where you're asking your cells to, to, to take a sample and the cells go, listen, if you're going to keep doing this kind of craziness, we're going to build stronger and more robust. We're going to improve the circulation. We're going to change it all. So for those of you who have that vision of higher life, of being able to give back more, that's our last option. So I'm going to throw this back uh, and, and let our amazing hostess, Gloria, finish it out. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. And thank you, Peg. And before I close it up, I just want to check and see that we've heard some really amazing information tonight. And I want to give you the opportunity to ask any questions that you may have noted down. So I know I've got some. So I'm wondering, Peg, <laughs> if I might ask you if you would share a little bit about, a little bit more about your, your personal journey with um, how much of the product were you using and what differences have you seen over this space of 12 years with the different products? I'd be glad to answer that question. Um, you know, I'll tell you, uh, 
when I first started, I was doing two ounces in the morning and two ounces a night of the liquid. Um, and uh, I, I had some severe issues, not only my feet, but I'd had five rotator cuff surgeries done. Uh, mm -hmm. Since that time also, I've had uh, surgery, knee replacements, that kind of thing. So, you know, uh, if you've ever gone into a massage person and they ask you to circle the problem areas, I just put a big circle around the whole body. Uh, but that was before, right? I mean, that was really before because the I use the redoc. I use everything, okay, because my health is really important to me. And every aspect that we have plugs in together. Uh, I'm currently doing four ounces in the morning and four ounces at night. The other thing I would say to you is um, I had a special kind of uh, issue with my immune system. And it's a, it's a tough one. You know, it's, it's one of those things that people say you can't do anything about it. Uh, I used to go to the arthritis doctor every, every year just to have them check my blood to see how that little, that little uh, issue was there. And I just kept drinking. I drank my ASEA. I was doing four. At that point, it was probably, uh, uh, it was about two and a half years into drinking. Uh, mm -hmm. I was doing four in the morning, four at night. And um, in two and a half years, there was no blood markers of that problem at all. So mm -hmm. what I want to say to you guys is you just keep moving through because these different kinds of technologies continue to work with wherever the body needs them because it improves that communication so much, right? And I, you know, I take a look, I think my skin looks pretty good. And uh, this year I will be 75, okay? Um, most of the people that I grew up with, uh, actually, it's funny, My, I went to a reunion, Jerry, and I had somebody come up to me and say, is it true? And I'm like, is what true? And they said that blondes have more fun. And I'm like, honey, this is my gray. Okay, this is not, <laughs> not, this is not dyed. This is natural. This is me, right? Um, but they say, how do you not change? I mean, seriously, big, how do you not change? You haven't aged. It's crazy, right? And of course, I have a reason why I have not aged, right? Because my skin keeps replenishing itself and it's not doing that 100 day thing, Jerry, at all, you know, because of the technology that we have. I also love the new cell performance packets. Um, I love them because I take the combination of the mind and energy in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mix it with water and it comes. I do my liquid acia, then I do lemon water. Then I do the cell performance. And you know what's happened, you guys? I It's three in the afternoon and I realize, oh, I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> you know, I get going in my day and I realize I didn't have time or take time to do breakfast and I'm not feeling it. So these, these little powders are really incredible, right? They're just amazing. Uh, it's another gift that you can give to people you care about. Um, because I'm having great results for, for my friends too, that are doing that. Um, I, I use it all. I use the via line as well. My favorite via part of, uh, part of via line is life max. I love that product. Okay. But I do it all. I mean, I am not going to tell my body, sorry. Right. The other thing I will tell you is what are, where are we, Jerry, with this, this thing that's happening? You know, I, have not had any kind of issue with the viral issue that's going around. And I have traveled. You know, I've gone to Las Vegas three times on behalf of ASEA. <laughs> I've gone to Nashville. I've gone to California. I've been to Idaho, Idaho twice. And no illness. Zip. Right. And I taught well, school 40 years. So some people would say, well, you, you grew all these uh, protections when you're around the Petri dish of all these kids, you know, but it's, it's the technology I'm using. I'm absolutely know that. Well, we so do know, we do know that the, the only way that viruses are killed is by your cells. Mm -hmm. And no matter, no matter what we do, 
your body has to marshal that capability. And surprisingly, it, the killing agent is uh, a derivative of these particular uh, exhaust molecules that we're actually providing back to the system. So um, there, are, there are real factors in, in how your body's gonna control and survive and thrive in a rapidly changing world in a lot of different ways. Uh, I wanted to point out that, you know, those cells that live so long and uh, they, they have a hard time keeping up with all the damage. In one of the studies that we did, we saw a 16% improvement in cell turnover. That means if you have 100 days when your cells are turning over, you have then in the next month, it's only 85. That's, that, that's 60, 16% in one month. It, and why? Because it's beginning to start to remember. Well, what happens in the next month? And what happens in the next month? It remembers to make those cells more often, and not just in your skin, but in all of your cells. And wow. that's pretty, pretty incredible. That's brave too, right, Jerry? I mean. Sure. And yeah, you, you'll, yeah. you'll look 15 years younger. People wonder, what the heck? How come I want, to, I want what you got? Exactly right. Right. So I hope I answered thoroughly enough your question, Gloria. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I loved your, your response and your answer and also the encouragement. I'm very inspired with, you know, um, really valuing the opportunity we have to really value our own health mm -hmm. and also to value our community. Um, I'm wondering, could you speak a little bit about the community and what you've experienced um, as you've been with it from pretty much the beginning. I would love to talk about that. Um, <clears throat> you know, human beings need to belong. And our community, I feel privileged beyond measure, blessed beyond, you know, I just can't even say, because I'm around people that are up to making a difference in the world. Think about that. To be with people that are making a difference in the world, who are looking at the world uh, with the what if we could create this amazing thing where we could gift people and help them be all they can be. That's where we're at. And I love this community because um, it's an international community. And I have friends all over the world, all over the world, right? I, I would never have that possibility. Uh, uh, right before the pandemic happened, I went to Australia. And I was there for a month and my friends in Australia from this company said to me, you're probably not even going to need to get a hotel. People are going to want you to stay with us, right? And the only hotel stay I had was at, at the Envision conference, one of the business conferences there, uh, where I stayed with some of my other friends for that conference. The rest of the time, I was shown around that country by natives of the country. I have friends in Norway. I have friends in Sweden. I have friends in uh, Thailand, right? In Mexico, in Colombia. Now, where are you going to have that opportunity to be in an international community that is based on the ethos I just shared, making the world a better place? Mm -hmm. I'm blessed is the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. And being a part of this community is a way that adds to the blessings, allows me to bring light to the world. And that's what I'm up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's, that's very inspiring and encouraging as well. Um, I wanna thank you again for taking your time to be with us because your time is really valuable. And um, I'd love to be able to invite you back another time in the future, because I know you have a wealth of stories and information and heart that you can share with our people. I'd be honored. I'd be honored, Gloria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me you all tonight. Your time is valuable too. So I really appreciate the time that you and attention you've given me. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm gonna invite everyone. I'm gonna share my screen again and I'm going to invite people to join us tomorrow. We have another Zoom that we'll be hosting and our guest speaker is gonna be Tammy Gates. And Tammy and her husband, Chuck, have been with ASEA since it was six months old. And she has a very practical um, style 
It's a You Can Do This style. And she's going to come and share her heart with us. It'll be tomorrow, June 15th at 3.30 Pacific time. And I we'd love to invite you to come and get to meet Tammy. So thank you all for joining us today.